everybody and welcome to vlogmas day 13 i know i missed another vlog yesterday but i just wasn't feeling it so i decided that when i'm not feeling it i'm not gonna vlog because i really want to get good quality content for you guys and i really don't want me just chilling at home in my pajamas all day and i know you guys probably don't want to see that let's be honest but this morning we've come out and we're going to go for a morning stroll decided to park at a school because there's like literally no parking anywhere and it's probably my worst decision because I'm guessing there's a Christmas carnival pageant thing on and there's so many people here. Of course Frederick fell asleep and it's not even nine o'clock. <laughs> in this area all my life and I've never been here but um, I don't think this walkway is very old so that's probably why I haven't been here before. The walk is done and we're now heading back to the car. I think we're going to go head to the shops to go grab a few things that I want to bake today. I really want to make these like coconut and lemon ball things. They look amazing. Plus I'm going over to my sister's later so I kind of want to take something with me for her to eat but she's paleo and i'm obviously vegan so it's a little bit different so i have to do it like vegan and also paleo finally got frederick out of the gate but he's picking up everything on his travels towards the car and the car's 20 meters away and he's picking up every stick he can possibly find got home got the goods and we can now bake something <laughs> these look absolutely amazing so they're lemon and coconut balls i will leave the recipe down below if you guys want to check it out um i wish i did get fine coconut instead of shredded but you gotta deal with what you got Drake has just fallen asleep and i honestly wasn't expecting him to fall asleep because he had a cat nap earlier today so i wasn't expecting him to fall asleep at all i decided that i'm going to cook my lunch slash tea i'm cooking this for lunch and i am decided to make my first vegan shepherd's pie it used to be shepherd's pie used to be like my comfort food it used to be the food i always gravitated to cook when i wanted to feel that comfort you know when you eat comfort food it, it feels so good in your mouth and everything and <laughs> I've been lacking that in our vegan diet. I want some good quality comfort food and I really feel like having shepherd's pie tonight. So I'm going to make my first ever vegan shepherd's pie. I'm really nervous about this. It's gonna take a long time to cook because apparently it's gonna take about an hour to cook, which kind of sucks. But um, luckily it's only 12.30, so I have to get cooking so I can get this done before Frederick wakes up and then we can have it and we can head to my sister's house. I would show you how I'm cooking this shepherd's pie, but I feel like my last couple of vlogs have just been me showing you or what I'm cooking. So I feel like I'm not gonna show you this just because my vlogs have been full of food lately and you might be getting sick of it. So I'm gonna do this cooking and I guess I'll show you guys after it's all done and looking fabulous. It's cooking my shepherd's pie and I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna quickly have a little bit now because my sister just called and her and my dad are gonna pop around quickly to catch up with us or hang out with us, I guess. 
Um, yeah, look at my shepherd's pie. It looks so good. Also, I normally put cheese on top of it, but because the vegan cheese I've got at the moment doesn't really melt very well, I decided not to put cheese on it. So, uh, it looks very naked. Look at all that goodness in there. It looks so good. So, I've got a little bit here. Got some sweet potatoes, some lentils, some peas, and also some stock. We're gonna give this a go. I just don't want to burn my mouth because that's thing, one thing I hate. Oh my god. Oh my god. It tastes exactly like shepherd's pie. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It tastes so like shepherd's pie. I was actually looking on our calendar to see how many weeks we've been vegan for. We've been vegan for almost three months now. I can't believe it. It's been 11 weeks. Since we have gone vegan and I'm so happy we decided to go vegan 11 weeks ago. I'm so happy. I eat this now before I start talking even more and forget about my lunch. Obviously her husband was there too, which I didn't know. I thought he was at work, but he wasn't. He was at home. So um, we hung out with them and that was pretty cool because they've got a new playground in their backyard. So it was pretty cool to play on their playground that they've got in their backyard. Ah. At 6.30 and I thought it would be nice time for me to put a face mask on. I haven't put one on in a while. And I just thought it would be a good idea to put one on, especially when my skin is looking absolutely amazing at the moment. I've got no breakouts, I've got no pimples whatsoever. All my scarring for my pimples that I got like last time have all gone, so I'm really, really, really happy at the moment. But I thought I would just put on a face mask because, well, why not? So today I'm using the Lush Cupcake face mask and this is meant to help with oily and teenage skin and also meant to help with like breakouts and everything even though i don't have any i just want to like make sure i don't get any i don't really do a full mask on my face just because like i don't get really affected in these areas here or here it's normally just like my t-zone more just my chin that gets affected really with anything um, don't ask me why my chin's just retarded I shouldn't say that word. It's not retarded. It's just plain silly. I'm only going to do a half mask because my forehead's not really affected and I just feel like I don't need a, a full mask. I kind of look like a monkey or a man with a beard. A serious, impressive beard that goes all the way up his nose. <laughs> Before I wash this mask off, which I should be washing it off right now because it's completely dry, I wanted to talk to you guys about why I skipped another day off Vlogmas. You probably guys don't really care that much, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it wasn't another mental health day. I didn't need another day off because of how I was feeling, even though I did take a day off because of how I was feeling. Basically, I took yesterday off because I felt or I am feeling like Vlogmas is very competitive. Especially this year, I found it very hard competing with other people who have absolutely amazing content and amazing Christmas content, I should say. I just feel like I'm competing with these people that I'm here and they're like way up here with their videos for Vlogmas and I'm finding it really hard. I know I shouldn't worry about these things, but I do. Um, because that's what YouTube does. I do worry about these things because YouTube, YouTube is my thing at the moment. I'm trying to go a new route with our videos. And you probably can tell that I've been going a new route with our videos. But the route I'm going isn't working with the route that other people are going at the moment. 
and I'm trying to get into a new category of like vloggers and it's not working out yet and it's just making things hard because I'm competing with the new style that I'm going for and also the old style because that that is what I'm used to and I just I've just been feeling like blah because I'm like no one wants to see me sit at home all day every day talking about what's happening through the day or seeing Frederick play or go to the beach because it literally happens nearly every single day and I know you guys don't want to see it and I feel like if I keep on doing that you won't watch my videos whatsoever so that's why I'm thinking if I'm going to have a boring day or if I really don't want to show a repetitive day of the day before I'm not going to vlog. Hopefully you guys can understand that. But that is how I feel and I just don't want our vlogs to be repetitive, especially if it's two or three days that are exactly the same. Um, let's be honest, I just want to let you guys know that I will probably skip another couple of days. Um, but it's just because I don't want to be repetitive, basically. My skin feels so much better now. I think we're going to put some moisturizer on because my skin is still really dry at the moment. So I need to do that, but it feels so good. Also took off all of my stuff that I had on my brows. So now I've got like naked brows. Luckily I dyed them the other day so they don't actually look too naked at the moment. Going to get going. Frederick is down there laying on the rug. He's just like, mom, goodbye. I'm going, I'm going to sleep now, mom. I wish it was that easy and he would just fall asleep like that. I would love it. I would love it so much, but he's not going to. Um, but anyway, we're going to get going. So I hope you all enjoyed today's kind of really chilled vlog. It was really chilled today. Well, let's be honest, all my vlogs have been really chilled lately. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because we are 17 away from hitting our goal. But anyway, we will see you all tomorrow. Say bye. See you guys. Ah, oh, see ya.